you wanted to meet her. Now you're meeting her and you're finding out that she was born a man, so you're not interested. But it's not like anything happened that... The new pictures I sent. That's what happened. That made me feel nasty. We know him as Jerry, but he was born Gerald Norman Springer, born February 13th, 1944. He passed away yesterday, April 27th, 2023. We're going to sit here and be all day talking about all of Mr. Jerry Springer's accolades. So here's a few of them. He's a broadcaster, a journalist, an actor, a producer, a lawyer, a judge. He was a politician, campaigned for Robert Kennedy, and he was the pioneer of quote-unquote trash TV. So will OG Gerald Jerry Norman Springer, man, may our boy rest in peace, man. Yes, sir. Tracy, you know I love you so much, oh. but I have a confession to make. I'm black. You're what? John, how come you didn't tell me you were black, you lying son of a But, oh man, y'all know what today is, right? It's New Music Friday. What we listening to? Y'all suggest an old man something. Like, for real, for real. So it looks like Emmett Till's accuser, Carolyn Brian Donham, passed away yesterday at the age 88 due to a cancer battle. I wonder if Jerry Springer left anything in his will for his children. Peep shouted. So it looks like a female babysitter is accused of raping a 13-year-old boy and then telling him, take it like a man. But for the next five years, it's a lot of flock going on. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh boy, Lamar Jackson has signed a five-year, $260 million deal, making him the highest paid player ever. And what's even harder, our boy acted as his own agent. Stop playing. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! Speaking of football, who's watching the NFL Draft? I know what's going on today, but did y'all catch the first round yesterday? Congratulations, three black QBs are in the top five picks of the NFL Draft, man. Y'all remember the University of Virginia football players that were killed last month in the shooting? Yeah, man, they were honored with posthumous degrees, right? Peep this out. With the first picks in the 2023 NFL Draft, we welcome to the NF we welcome to the NFL family Deshaun Perry, Lavelle Davis, and Devin Chandler of the University of Virginia. Man, they had that boy Will Levi sweating yesterday. Girl looked like she was about to leave him and everything. I know Will Levi was supposed to be a top five prospect. He didn't even make it out the first round. He said, I ain't going to the second day. It's all good though. Starting the day, Will Levi is a Tennessee Titan, man. Congratulations to everybody that's going in the draft. I don't know if this is real or fake or not, but Rye Wave and Lizzo will face off in a hot dog eating contest in May. Y'all stay tuned for that. That girl Amber Heard, yeah man, she gonna return for the Aquaman sequel. Tell her to leave her feces uh, at the house. There's some rat ass shit here, man, but it looks like Smokey Robinson revealed that he had an affair with Diana Ross during his first marriage. We were working together and it just happened. Why are you snitching on Diana though? And see, this is why we need to mind our business. You know, folks are saying, oh, Gunner snitched on Thug to get out early. Well, it looks like on Young Thug's Instagram, he's promoting Gunner's new album that's about to drop. It could be that or something else, I don't know. Young Thug files a fourth motion to be released on Bond. His attorney says that Thug has limited access to healthy food options. They say, bro, and that bitch eating chocolate and chips. Come on now, I know slime eat healthy. I like fish and water, I'm a belt. Yes, sir. Happy birthday and belated birthday to the beautiful, talented Lizzo, the late, great Coopster nigga from 3-6 Mafia, our boy Too Short Baby, the late, great Mrs. Maid Sinclair, our girl Jessica Alba, and our boy Jay Leno. Yes, sir. This same day yesterday, April 27, 1999, the Rough Riders released Ride or Die Volume 1. It's a classic. This same day today, April 28th, 1998, the late great Big Punisher debuts with a classic iconic album, Capital Punishment. No, he was the first Latin to go platinum. And on this day here, April 28th, 2019, man, the talented director, screenwriter, producer, our boy John Singleton, yeah, man, he passes away. May he continue to rest in peace. Hey, man, that girl Haley Van Liff, she said if you can't beat him, join him. That boy 42 Doug was sentenced to one year in prison, man. Free Doug. That girl Beyonce fires back at the IRS after claiming that she owes 2.7 million in back taxes. Peep this nutcase hair out, man. A mother dismembered her daughter and ate her body parts as the neighbors, they just looked on. A famed New York socialite, Patty Raines, was found dead at her Palm Beach home, man. Rest in peace to her. Our boy Kevin Durant, he becomes the third NBA player to sign a lifetime deal with Nike. Congratulations to him. 
And this, 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 I think I reported this like years ago, but it's back. And I'm thinking it's serious this time. It's breaking my heart. But it looks like oral sex is reportedly causing an epidemic of throat cancer, man. Can't believe this shit. I enjoy receiving. I've enjoyed giving. That's crazy. And Chief Sosa's baby mother is accusing him of getting bad baby pregnant while she was still a teenager, man. She said, bad. Tell him how Keith got you pregnant while you was a teenager. Yes, Sersky. Tonight's weather. Chesapeake V8, y'all 64 degrees, but y'all clap. City of Angels, Los Angeles, y'all 68 degrees, but y'all sunny, big dog. Say, family, another day, another dollar, another way to make a whole holler. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, make sure to also follow me on YouTube and Instagram at NewsWizA. Help me run them numbers up. And if you want me to shout you out, the weather report is stupid, fucking crazy easy. Drop me in the comments, you know I'm going to take care of you. It's Friday night, y'all will be extremely light. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. And until next time, family, I'm going to holler at you motherfuckers, man.